Jake Anarino here. This is a story out of the Drudge Report. Uruguay, first nation to legalize pot struggles to keep up with demand. Poor bastards. Montevideo, Uruguay, place I always wanted to go to. I hear Uruguay's unbelievable. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go there one day. Laura Andrade recently walked out of a pharmacy in Uruguay, cursing loudly because she couldn't buy legal pot. The wine sommelier, the wine sommelier had taken a bus since pharmacies in her neighborhood don't sell the drug. It's not a drug really, is it? But a pharmacy employee told her to come back the next day. I work, I can't come here every day, she complained. Today, today I'll have to buy from an illegal dealer. Boo fucking hill. I have no choice. This system is crap. It's useless. Marijuana went on sale in Uruguay last year under a 2013 law that made it the first nation to legalize a pot market covering the entire chain from plants to purchase. But the country is still working on how to meet demands in its effort to undercut drug traffickers who control the black market. Hire them. Put them on the payroll. The demand is greater than our productive capacity, the head of Uruguay's National Drugs Council, Diego Oliveira, told the Associated Press. We have to address that challenge. Dude, grow more weed. Import it from Colorado or California. What the fuck? You know, you got options. Those poor people in Uruguay, we have to pray for them going through this horrible struggle. And if you're feeling depressed or know someone who is, don't forget to call the Suicide Prevention Hotline.